You know, in the heart of the Smoky Mountains, there's a mysterious, serious forest known as the Forest of No Return. Locals tell a tale of a strange light that appears at night, drawing people in and making them vanish to those who seem to have lost a part of themselves, usually to recall what happened. One crisp autumn evening, five friends, Jenna, Mark, Liz, Tom, and Sarah, decided to explore the forest. They're eager to prove the stories are just superstition. As they hike through the forest, the sun dips below the horizon, and the wood takes on a different character. They joke and lie, trying to stay lighthearted, but the growing darkness makes the laughter fade. The forest feels alive in ways that are hard to explain. The trees seem to whisper secrets and the shadows dance just outside. They notice strange symbols etched into the bark, and the atmosphere grows heavier as they venture deep. They stumble upon a faint, blurring glow in the distance, a light that seems to call to them, and the atmosphere glows heavier. As they venture deep, they stumble upon the faint, alluring glow of the distance, a light that seems to call to them. Let's check it out, Jenna says, her voice filled with a mixture of curiosity and apprehension. The group follows the light, their flashlights flickering. The deeper they go, the more oppressive the voice feels. The mist thickens and the trees press in around them. They start to hear mother of breath, like voices from another world. The light becomes more intense, casting long, unsettling shadows. As they approach the source of the light, it becomes clear that it's coming from an old, run-down cabin. The glow seeps through the cracks in the wooden floor. Liz, Tom, and Sarah exchange uneasy glances but decide to investigate. Inside the cabin, the light is revealed to be coming from the cracked liner on the dusty old table. The cabin is filled with old belongings, photographs, letters, and artifacts from people long ago. If as if the cabin had been frozen in time, the group discovered the journal that belonged to a man who lived there many years ago. His entries tell the story of the family that vanished without a trace, leaving behind their home and their lives. The journal revealed that the boy's light is linked to a tragic event. The family had been bleeding something dark. The journal revealed that the boy's light is linked to a tragic event. The family had been fleeing something dark and malevolent, something that still lingers in the woods. Panic set in and they realized they're not alone. The forest seems to close in on them and the light from the lantern starts to flicker. The whisper outside grow louder, turning into eerie chants. The group senses that of time and direction warp. They try to leave, but the path they follow are gone. Jenna, feeling a strong compulsion, opens a hidden compartment in the cabin wall. Inside, they find a collection of old photographs and letters revealing the family story. The family had been trying to escape their own demons both literal and metaphorical. Their escape was thwarted by the malevolent force that still haunts the forest. The friend realized they need to confront their own fears and regret to break free from the forest grim. They found a small handwritten note in the journal with instructions for a ritual one meant to dispel the darkness. But the light, they're only mine. They perform a ritual as we 
Her voice is trembling but resolute. The voice seems to resist. The whispers are growing more frantic. They push through the determined to end the nightmare. And the ritual reaches the climax. The light from the lanterns and the flyer bramble The oppressive atmosphere lifts and the forest grip loosens. The light they follow now fades into the distance and the path becomes clear again. Exhausted, Liz, Tom, and Sarah find their way back to the forest edge. The forest, now bathed in the first light of dawn, seems serene and empty. They look back to the forest and knowing they face something beyond their understanding. The forest of no return stands silent holding on to its secrets. The friends leave, changed by their experience and the realization that some stories are more than just legends. They're echoes of the past, struggles of fear that continue to haunt us. The fate of John and Mark remain a haunting mystery. Their disappearance or a reminder of the forest dark power and personal demons. They were unable to escape. The forest of no return stand silent, holding on to the secrets, warning to anyone that be drawn to its light.